Charlie. You poor old goat. I'm gonna miss you, kid. I miss you. I beg your pardon, sir. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, the services are over. Everybody's been and gone. No, excuse me, sir. I mean, I encountered this young lady on the highway. Um, my friend, you and your friend can... No, she's not my friend. You see, I saw her and, well, the fact of the matter is that, well, well she was undressed and so I gave her my coat. Looking for the Malibu Motel? No, 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 sir. It's not like that. You see, I'm on my way to Santa Barbara for my mother's birthday, and I'm running late already as it is. And, well, she told me to bring her here. Here? Why on earth here? Never even seen her before in my life. You don't know me, do you? Do you? Can, can she speak? I'm afraid she's ill. She, her illness is like, uh, like amnesia. Oh, come on. Well, I was going to take her to a doctor, a hospital. Well, take her. Look, sir, she, she knows this house. She wants to be here. So, good grief, look at the time. So, I'm so sorry for my language, sir. It's just, I have to be there at Santa Barbara before my mom gets mad and I'm bringing the cake. So if you don't mind, I'll just be <laughs> later. You're not leaving here without her. I, I'll call you tomorrow. Come, come back. You found her, she's yours! Come, come back, she's sick! Uh, um... You got everything? The, the restroom's here. And the first thing, tomorrow morning, sickness or health, we arrange things, all right? Good night. What's your name? My name? My name is Tr George Tracy. George Tracy. Yeah, but my, my name doesn't matter. It's Charlie Sorrell, what you should focus on. Do you remember Charlie Sorrell? Short guy with a... You know what, just skip it. You, you, you've got everything. Good night. No, don't leave me, please. Oh, I'll leave the door open, okay? That's, that's the best I can do. Good night. Night. You have lungs of a deep sea diver. What, what was it anyway? A nightmare or something? George, don't.
Don't you know me? I, I know you. You don't know you. That's the problem. George, look at me. George, please just go back to sleep. George, it's me, Charlie. I'm Charlie Sorrell. No. I look. am Charlie Sorrell. All right, whatever you say. Now, will you please just go back to sleep before I hit you in the head with the lamp? George, George, I don't understand this either. I am Charlie Sorrell. It finally came to me in my sleep. Sleep? Thanks. George, George, it's me. I am Charlie Sorrell. I'm your best friend. Yeah, first thing in the morning. Night. It's true. Leo Satori caught me making a pass at his girl. And he shot me. That's nice. George, listen to me. Your name is George W. Tracy. The W stands for Wellington. You live at 341 Avenue Kleber in Paris. Your number is Bullzac 4489. You have a mole on your left shoulder blade. Look, sister. I don't know what the gag is, but I've had a very rough day, so- In 2011, we wrote a screenplay together, an original story that we sold to the studio. We had a secretary, surely something. Neither one of us knew that the other was making out with her until we bumped into each other in the stairwell one rainy Sunday afternoon, right? Who put you up to this? Was it Crofty? Two years ago, I had you cash a check for me. For a thousand dollars, it bounced. But I made up for it whenever I won big at the Cannes Film Festival. I paid you back in chips, right? And later that weekend, you nearly drowned because you hit your head on my surfboard, right? Doesn't that prove that I'm Charlie? The only thing that proves is that you were friends with Charlie and that he told you all these things. I am Charlie, you stubborn bonehead. What about the time you took the producer's girlfriend to Tijuana, the redhead, and it turns out she was an American citizen and you guys got stuck because she didn't have a passport? Huh. I get it. I get it. You're one of Charlie's friends, one of Charlie's girlfriends, and and he promised to marry you, or, or borrowed money from you, but you know what, you're wasting your time! Because he's not gonna marry you, or he's not gonna pay you back the dough, because he's dead! D-E-A-D. -E now, you can, you can stay the rest of the night, have a hot breakfast in the morning, but after that, you're out. Okay, George. I didn't want to have to hurt you, but you're asking for it. Last Christmas. Three months ago, you were in San Moritz with a model from Harper's, Elsa Underwood. You were crazy about her. You even talked about marrying her. But then she got a telegram from Dick Avedon and had to go back to Paris for retakes. Dick Avedon, my foot. That telegram was a phony. She came back with some other guy and they were shacked up in a hotel room. The Ritz, in a suite overlooking the Place Vendôme. It was me, George. I'm sorry. You dirty rag! I should have known! She was no good for you, George. And, and my good friend Charlie Sorrell is going to be the one to prove it, right? Yeah, you were getting serious about her, and I couldn't let you... I did it for you, George. You double-crosser. My word of honor. For me? Charlie Sorrell's word of honor. You could have been badly hurt, George. And I... That's enough, Charlie. Drop it. You know who I am now, don't you, George? That's why I was screaming. I don't know what this setup is. I don't know what's going on. What do I do, George? George. George!
Charlie Hate to see you go Goodbye, Charlie Gee, I'm feeling low But I'm cluing you in Someone's doing you in, pal Goodbye, Charlie Hate to see you